Hey, welcome back, everybody. You know, when it comes to riding big waves, there's no place better than Hawaii. And when it comes to photographing big waves, nobody does it bigger and better than a man named Little. You know what, it's, it's beyond my wildest dreams. It's something that I never went out to do, you know? I mean, I'm not, I never said, oh, I'm gonna go and be a photographer and, and it's gonna be my life, it's gonna be my career. I mean, I wanted to just get a picture for my wife for the house. That was four years ago. Today, there are many pictures that adorn the walls of Clark Little's home, and not just any pictures. They are some of the most spectacular images ever snapped. A rare look inside of a place that few people ever go. And for good reason. It's fun, you know what I mean? It's exciting. I'm getting down there and the wave's sucking up, pulling me out, but I'm trying to stay in as this wave is climbing, holding the trigger. And I mean, you hear the thunder, the bass, you know what I mean? I mean, you see it, you hear it, and then boom, you know, and you hold, the longer you hold, the more gnarly the picture is, right? The more sand gets sucked up, the more juicy it is. An accomplished surfer, Little says what he observed riding the waves over the years gave him insight on how they acted and how he could interact with them. But that's not to say that he knows how to tame the powerful force of nature. One time, like I remember, it was just gnarly, and I was, there was like, you know, 10 to 15 foot shore break, and I couldn't get in, and it kept sucking me out, and I was right in the impact zone, and I just had to drop my camera and just, you know, gasp for air. And I was just panicking. I was in panic mode, you know what I mean? And just using my instincts just to survive, and I mean, that was a real scare, and I, I kind of stepped back and thought, you know what? You better kind of assess the situation a little bit further before I, you know, go out, because well, it's perfect. I just want to jump in, you know what I mean? I'm a little tired. But it feels good. Love what I do. If I didn't uh, love it, I wouldn't go out there and get smashed around.